Heritage Skills Centre is developing absolutely brilliantly. It now actually looks like a, uh, a skills centre and you can see the workshops and you can see how it fits so cleverly into the landscape uh, and the way that um, you, know, you can't see it, it's so well hidden uh, and we're, we're really excited by the way it's developing. As you can see behind me, the Heritage Skills Centre, uh, from your last visit when the concrete pour was on, we've gone way past there now. The glue lump structure now is in place, the M-Creek panels are fitted, uh, the underfloor heating pipes are laid and screeded. We're currently on with uh, Face Fix uh, electric and plumbing. Uh, we're just waiting for the grass roof, hopefully that'll be on in two weeks time. We recently had a considerate uh, constructors visit a few days ago. I'm hoping to achieve 36 and a half, 37 would be better um, and um, I'm in the top 7.5% of the country. We, uh, we first got in, involved through um, setting a design project for some of our third year students uh, using this same site and an extended version of this brief. The site manager for a day initiative came again from Peter Winson. He, uh, he invited our students to come for a day rather than just for a sort of half hour uh, visit and shadowed Peter in his work. And that's been a great experience for them. They've all come back really enthusiastic about it and full of confidence uh, about operating on a building site. The uh, students came very early on the pro project and uh, they were visiting perhaps half an hour or an hour and very, very interested in the job and I thought let me get them involved a little bit more so I invited them out to be the site manager for the day. We had a total of about six, six students, thoroughly enjoyed it, fantastic feedback from them, brilliant and it's an ongoing thing that I'm doing with them. There are lots of challenges working on this site. The Heritage Skills Centre, one of the criteria was that it couldn't be seen when you walk into the castle and it's really, really managed to achieve that. The Aaron and Snell, the architects, have done a fantastic job. When you come in, you don't actually know the Skills Centre's there and it's, it's really one of the reveal moments of the castle, which is the overriding theme of, of the master plan on the site, Lincoln Castle Revealed. Well, the next phase is going to be the fit-out, which is going to be really exciting because that's when the building is really going to come to life and you're going to see how it's, how it's going to operate. It's probably been about a year now since we last looked at all the specifications for the fit-out and we're all we're coming back to that now and working out where everything's going to go and adverts have gone out as well now for people that are going to start running and, and working on the site and it's going to be really good to see it up and running and working again. It's tremendously exciting to see the building uh, form take shape and actually you can see your design uh, objectives being achieved on site and the fact that the building sits very quietly within the setting of the castle and yet has its, its own architecture, um, it, it's, it's immensely rewarding. I think the main points of uh, collaboration between ourselves and uh, Robert Woodhead has been in uh, going through a value engineering exercise in order to um, keep, the, keep the project on budget and on time. The programme is, is critical and also the detailed design development has been important and um, they've been able to bring their practical knowledge uh, to the process. Well, the Heritage Skills Centre is only a part of what we're doing at Lincoln Castle. Uh, there is actually a, um, a £20 million refurbishment of the site and on March the 27th we heard that Heritage Lottery Fund were awarding us a grant of £12 million. Uh, and Obviously, hugely exciting, an enormous relief to me personally, as I've been working on it for seven years, and uh, it just means that we've got the opportunity now to actually proceed with all the, all the plans that we have. And the plans are very much about opening up the site, revealed, uh, so that you can access the buildings, many of which have been closed, really, uh, always. Um, making the wall walks a much better visitor experience. In fact, the whole site will be a better visitor experience.